Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Ausenball. And I'm Dylan Sunnybrook. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Four St. Mary's College of Maryland students were denied their study abroad trip to China this semester because of the coronavirus. They were participating in the college's exchange program with Fudan University in Shanghai. Mike Wick, provost of the college, said they'd rather be safe than sorry, adding that the risk is too much. Two overnight homeless shelters are near completion, but the mission seeks help to buy main property as two donated buildings designed to be overnight homeless shelters near completion. The mission attempted to raise funds to purchase its day room, which has stood on Great Mills Road for eight years. Three round buildings located on Great Mills Road just south of the organization's day room building were donated to the mission by the Kessler family less than a year ago in memory of the late Stephen Kessler who died in 2016. While St. Mary's County Libraries are the busiest in the region, librarians are working to accommodate the community with more source, services and resources, a new building in Leonardtown, and the potential for fine free library cards for all. Michael Blackwell, library director, briefed the county commissioners on updates and community impacts at Tuesday meetings. The annual report for the St. Mary's County Library revealed that 1,306,358 items were checked out within fiscal 2019, equaling about 12 items per person in St. Mary's. The Maryland Heritage Areas Authority approved $100,000 in funding for the St. Mary's St. Clements Island Museum renovations. The county plans to raise the old building in order to build a new two-story building. The county commissioners accepted the grant award, allowing the museum to move forward with its planned building improvements. The two budget amendments were also approved, decreasing county bond authority and increasing state authority by $20,000. The total cost of construction is currently planned to be $1.5 million. Now turning to sports. Leonardtown wrestlers are in a win over North Point last Tuesday at smack dual match of the Leonardtown Raiders, 23-5 win record, versus the visiting North Point Eagles with a 54-24 win occurred. The Raiders started with strong three consecutive pins. The Raiders kept a constant lead over North Point until the end of the night. Both teams were slated to be in action on Thursday to close out the regular season, and postseason action kicks off with a regional duels tournament on Wednesday. Wednesday was National Signing Day and three St. Mary's Reichen High School seniors were honored as their football careers will continue on the collegiate level. Aiden Weber, Colin Webster, and Jacob Kwasny helped St. Mary's Reichen to a 9-1 season in its second straight Washington Catholic Athletic Conference Metro Division title on November 24th, putting each of them on the map. Webster is signing his letter of intent on Wednesday to play NCAA and Division II football at Frostburg State University. Kwasney committed to play collegiate football at NCAA Division III, Gaysburg College at, in Pennsylvania, and Weber committed to play collegiate football at NCAA Division III, Gaysburg College in Pennsylvania. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Ausenball. And I'm Dylan Sunnybrook. Signing off.